Maybe something on the roof. Yo, 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 my car's just in drift mode. Yo, yo, yo. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Now, before I pick up a game that I actually want to play on the channel, typically I'll go to a Steam or the game page itself, take a read about this thing, see if it's popping off. That's the usual thing to do, right? The Radio Station is a Japanese psychological horror game created by Chiller's Art. We've ticked a box there already. I scrolled down to read the about this game and I found myself at psychological horror. This game will drive you insane. Is this really a game I want to be playing right now? So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to the brand new game by Chiller's Art, The Radio Station. Now I know little about this thing. One thing I have concluded however without even reading the description properly is that it probably involves a radio station. It's almost a tradition to play every single new release of a Chiller's Art game, this one being the next one. They always have a very unique way of doing horror games and each one has this very interesting story. Yeah, it gets reactions like this. <laughs> so with this one being the next one on the list of releases, you already know we're about to discover of what's going on with the radio station. You guys are down for this video. I think you know exactly what to do. Let's go and get this. Asaki ga shinda. What an opening subtitle for- Wow, Masaki died. Alright, I guess I don't even have to talk right now. Dude's got it. I guess he's kind of shocked, but- I just met him the other day. Happy talking about his radio job. Getting back on track. How'd he die? I couldn't believe it. Cool. Found dead at the radio station. Alright, now we know why this thing's based on the radio station, right? Not clear. Hold on, hold on. Even though we're in the dark, if I rotate my mouse... What the freak? Cause of his death, not clear. Not clear? What does that mean? The police have given up on the investigation. I guess I'm gonna read over this dude. Early on, classifying the case as a suicide. Suicide? That's bullcrap! That day, that day, something must have happened on the show. I decided to find out what happened to my brother by myself. Ooh, okay. So a mysterious passing happened to our brother. He worked at the radio station and unfortunately he passed and we gotta find out what happened. We don't believe what the police are saying, all right? First of all, give me that car key. Something here as well. The key to the radio station in the mountains is in the mailbox at home. You may take it if you need it. Hashimoto. Holy crap, dude. That flashlight is bigger than my pillow. You know where my money went. What the? What? How the heck am I reaching that door from here? Uh, have we got that huggy wuggy pack though? Close that sec. I can't actually turn the flashlight off, so I have to keep this thing on. There's my bathroom. Very small area. This is a very small apartment too, you see this? All right, let's do this anyway. We're getting the mystery started. Very, very dark at the moment. Let's take a look. We don't want to knock on our neighbor's door. It's just us on our own mission, so we probably should close our own door. Don't even need to worry about locking. We trust our neighbors enough, all right? They'll protect my property if someone tries to break in. How late is it right now? Hey, we're shining the light through neighbor's door. Sorry about that, guys. Let's do it then. So this must be our vehicle here. Get on the car, not in the car. Just check the roads first of all. How do you sleep with the crickets literally having a pie right there? Let's go. Hey. What the freak? All right, so we have like a map. What? This is actually really cool. So, oh, okay. Look at this. We're actually dropping. <laughs> we're flooring this thing up. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're driving to the radio station. This is really interesting though, how we're actually driving. You can see it's physically moving on the map there too. So it's a nice little night. Turning on this car, I press left a little bit. Dang, how the frig do you drive this thing? It's going everywhere. We're driving through the mountains. This is actually cool though, like an expansion on the typical world of Chiller's Art. Quite the direction to go. What's that warning sign talking about? Got wild pigs on the road, I think it's saying. Okay, turn this corner nice and easy. Yeah, let's go. So, so bizarre. So we know the mystery so far. Something went down at a radio station involving our brother and it really isn't good. Uh, hold on, should we swim by this place here? We got like a stop off point. This is the station. The radio station? Hold on, I thought we have to travel from one end to the other? All right, well, let's hop out the vehicle. We parking up. Let's see, uh, flashlight is coming straight back out. So this is the radio station, I think. I need the station's key. All right, so it is. Is it under there? I think we took a yen, it said. So we'll hang on to that just for the moment. Take a look around the back of this place. Hold up, they got a door there. Need the station's key talking about that too. Hold on, let me check. They got like a small station area here. Maybe it's like a security post. Can't see anything around the sides. And we can open the door. All right, let's go. Hang on a second. I thought... What the freak? Hey, sir. Are you good in that? What are you trying to look for? Man, what the freak? Let's go inside. So, uh, coming on through. There's no one here. He was doing his security job. 
something like that at least. It seems like what we see from the outside is when this place is all alive. Well, I say that this dude don't look alive. Hey man, we'll leave you to it. You uh, you have fun with whatever you're doing right there. All right, guys, we actually have to move. It spoke about a key being within the mountain side, so that's where we have to head first. Let's just take a look on the mini map. Break a sec. So home, we can see home right there. That's where we gotta go to. Then where the yellow circle is. All right, let's get this carried away. Look at the wheel spinning, though, man. The way I'm spinning that thing. My goodness. Small residential place. Every single house is just turned off, though. Liquids. Let's drive through my car. It's good for this terrain. Perfect. So we scale the mountain. You can see we're going uphill here. Gotta get to the house in the mountain zone. We go from there. All right, and we come up to here. I think what we want to do is take a right. Look at this. So this must be. Oh my god, that never does not scare me, man. The way this guy reverses so aggressively. So, yeah, this is where we're going. We go to the house on top of the mountain. Let's see what's there once we get there. Holy crap, this is like a 46 degree incline, man. So I think we gotta pull in here. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> enter. This is the owner's house. How this car stays parked, I have no idea. You can hear the engine bubbling still. We must have turned that thing off. So we're here. We leave the car parked sideways in the middle of the road. We don't even care if someone comes through. Try the doors. Both the doors don't open front door doesn't either but this is the mailbox there's the key so we've got the station key you know maybe you should keep your light on just in case i don't trust this check behind the owner's house see if there's anything going on here hey sir just taking the key you know i'll be on my way right now thanks for leaving it in the mailbox in a spot i'll find it so we leave we got nothing to wait for right we go straight back to the station and we go ahead and see what mr might Dude, you gotta put your brake on seriously when you get in the car, man. Let's get out of here, though. I don't even have to put my foot on the accelerator. Look at the car just coasting down the hill. What a brake a sec. I wanna see what's in here. This place has a light source, so we may as well enter. It looks like it might be some kind of dumping ground. Okay, we've got a padlock here. We can't actually open this. Uh, I don't know, maybe just a dumping place where you put your trash. Same here. And I don't think there'll be anything behind it. We can just look into the woods a little bit. There's nothing else here, so we might need a key at some point to be able to access whatever's in here. I don't know. Wait, we can go here. Rats seem hungry? I mean, that rat was clearly so ravenous. We haven't got any food for you guys. Sorry about that, but maybe we'll bear that in mind. We might have to come back here at some point because they might be eating something we need. All right, well, with all said and done, how about we go ahead and get back to the radio station? It's the main basis for the game, and it's what we're even doing in this place this late at night. We want to find out what went down with our brother. From there on, maybe more mysteries will happen as a result, but I kind of do want to, like, go the other routes whilst I'm here, so I might just do that. Hey, bro, sorry. I'm after to just explore a little bit. I'll be back real soon, okay? We'll still solve your case. Got a residential zone. We turn up here, though. Looks a bit more decayed. The road looks like it's kind of flaking apart. Nature is definitely having its way. Gosh, come on, Kai, you can climb it. All right, so we'll see what's at the end here, and then we'll probably go back soon after. It might be nothing, but this could be worth doing. Maybe we get, like, an item of importance, so we will just enter this. It's a warehouse. All right, let's see. We have a door, and it swings straight open. Now, before we go diving in too fast, let me look around the outskirts here. Maybe there's nothing. Uh, perhaps what we might need is inside this place. So let's go inside and see what's going down in here. This is the warehouse. Look at the condition of this place, man, when we head inside. So... All the doors lead to the same thing. What the freak? It's like... Uh, hold up a moment. What the freak is going on? Did we just solve the riddle? There's a door back here. I wish I could see what I was doing, man. This game is so, so dark. Maybe there's a puzzle element to this. Like, we open certain doors in a specific order. Then we get access to the door. However, how do we learn or know what that might be? If that is even what we'll be doing here. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Since when was there another cap? Hey, what the heck, man? Hey, where you going? Yo. Someone else knows we're out here exploring for something. Why were they doing that? Why were they observing us do this? I think I might leave. I don't feel confident sticking around here. Bizarre thing number one. Someone was actually watching us whilst we was out here just chilling. Seeing what was going down in the warehouse. There's another vehicle then trying to maybe discover what we're looking for. Or they could be in also investigating the same thing. Maybe they're trying to find out, like, what is going on around here. I have no idea, man. I think I might take a left, though. I don't think it's here. Uh, no, that's a dead end. We're going nowhere. Let's get that three-point turn. Look at that. This guy does not waste time, so we go down here. This might be perhaps a kiosk. Okay, my car is damaged. We might have to come back here in due time, but I'm starting to think, like, maybe in the meantime, we should just, like, look at the different things that are around here. So this is the vending machine area. Now, we did pick up a yen, so perhaps we can spend that here now. So we've got a phone public phone numbers down there uh i'll try this i used it you never look up do you what the freak tape 
Okay, that might have been worth it then. That felt like something that we needed to do. All right, we're thinking here. So we got a tape from that. Okay, uh, interesting that we could get that. None of these work. We could have perhaps gotten a snack instead, but I guess we didn't need to. Nothing else really around here, though, that's alerting us to what we need. These are tapes here, though. And we can put some kind of code in. A four-digit code to be exact. Hmm. So we want to get more of those. Those might have certain messages scrawled on them. Perhaps something of uh, extreme importance. So the voice on the phone, how did they know what we were doing? Was it the people in the car or not? I will be leaving this place for now. I still don't really trust it. Uh, let me check on my map, though. So the road does go down farther, but it leads to a dead end by the looks of things. So how about we just get back on the road? Let's go to the radio station. We've got the key. Let's see what we can uncover once we get inside of that place. All right, we're swinging on up, man. We're swinging on up. We have the key we need. Is the dude still in, like, the small security booth area? How about we have a quick look at... Yeah, my man's back is completely snapped up, as is his soul. I don't think there's anything left there, guys. We are not going to try and reason with him. We'll just go straight in, correct? So, with the key, we open the door. Switch straight back out. Hello? Hey, uh, yeah, guys, I'm just coming in. I'm looking for my brother. You know, any information will be fantastic, and I will be on my way. Got a light flickering here. Can't do anything with it. Uh... What are we actually going to be doing then? So we've broken in. Now what's the next step? Step ladder there. This must be the mixing station. I assume through there, that's where they do the broadcasting. So maybe we should try and get... Did I just hear something? Or am I hearing things on purpose? Here we go. We're through. And it's the only computer that is turned on as well. But we can't do anything on the desk or click anything. All right, let's take a look around the other side. Paperwork stacked up. Nothing we can read, though. Okay, let's go back into this main area. Second room. Okay, we've got a vending machine ticket. We will take that. We may as well. And there may have been something else on the edge here. Bottled water. Almost felt like someone was going to attack me when I turn around there. So, we've done something. Not too much. We can't really do anything else here. Wait, oh, the tape recorder. Oh, let's go, let's go. So, put the tape in, maybe? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So, maybe there's a secret message on this? Because is it... Masaki's Toy Story. Ooh, what's the voice quality? Hi. Let's hear it. All right, let's get the horror story. I think these subtitles might be a little bit out of sync, but we'll listen anyway. Let's go. Toko. Toko san. All right, let's hear it. レイカンのある上級生の小学生の時の話です。はい。その子は生まれつき霊感がありました。パワーシックスセンス。保育園の頃ははっきり見えるわけではなく、なんとなくもやのようなものが見えたり、受験の場所は金ありと感覚されていて
back door now opens up, so it's about the tapes and finding those. As many as we can. Okay, let's check in this back area. We found another one, looking like it was stained on the shelf that time, you see. A little bit of red, you know, nothing to be too worried about, not yet at least, but, uh, you know, that might be blood, so hang on a sec. Shut that off. So, maybe within this game, the way we progress things is we find more of the tapes, but then, my question is, how do we end this entire adventure once we're all done? Is it finding seven out of seven tapes? Is there a way we can get multiple endings? Because it did mention the multiple endings. Give me another story! Ah! おお、まさきのホラーな話。あ、ウズノエクスペクティナ。ダウズリーリーテラファイン。はい。今回もやってきました。ホラーな話。よかったね。ホラーな話。クロスオブスコラミオンでいきます。クロスオブスコラミオン
try and use the vending machine ticket and just see if we get another tape. Now, we haven't seen that car again, but it would be kind of weird if that car was a hint about the girl who was in the accident. Even my camera died, is so scared. Maybe we'll find out a story about the water here as well. Perhaps this whole place is just riddled with symbolism and the stories that we hear on the tapes maybe they'll all relate to the surroundings and what we can find all right and we swing up let's enter use the vending machine ticket and see what we get it's my car why am i getting scared by my car we head on in wait you see each time there's something significant you see how there's like a blood smear or a large surface area so that's making me think now that perhaps we do have to go back at some point wait 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 but how do i know what the code is wait there's something here uv flashlight um Okay, we can see there might be maybe something around here in that case involving this. Maybe that's how we find right here. 3124. 3124. Let's try that thing, see what we get. It didn't work. Interesting. 12 tapes, 12 buttons. What about it? This is telling us the order in which we press these. Oh, hang on a second. So instead, let me just first of all exit that down. One, two, and then the three was down here. So seven and four is six. So we should have four, two, seven, six. Hey, that gives us another tape. So that's tape number three. Yo, thank you very much for the tape. I will be taking that one with me. So now I need to try and figure out what do we do with the vending machine ticket? Like which one of these vending machines do we even deliver it to? Wait, hold up. We can use the food ticket. Hold up. No. So there's lots of noodles. Perhaps we use it on any one of these. So yes. Okay, now where's my food at? It's in my hand. With this, do we take it back to where the rats were? They were eating stuff. Uh, I have no idea. It mentioned food, hunger. Now we have food. That might be what the vending machine ticket is even for. So we'll at least swing by. Maybe the rat's going to tell us something cool. What the freak? Oh my god. I was trying to chill. I was about to burp. It just made me swallow the air into my stomach. Wait, what the freak did I just hit? Well, I hit the wall first of all. Uh, the pig ran into me, so I'm actually going to be claiming on you. My insurance is not paying for this. What the heck? Uh, let me just uh, dab on him. Okay, that actually scared the crap out of me. I wasn't expecting anything within these situations here to happen. So let's think. We've just seen a pig. When we play the next tape that we have, we'll listen to see if there's a mention of a pig in the story. Wait. Hey, hold up. The car's here smoking. Uh, what? I don't think we should be doing this. It's like crashed. Wait, there's an, another tape in the car. Who did that belong to? Open this a second. So rats seem hungry. Let's try this. It did work. So by giving them the noodles, they get... Perfect. Hey, man, I appreciate you. We'll take the tape. All right. I kind of want to just like seal myself away in here. I feel like something really bad is about to happen, but I have no idea. We just wait a second. So... We have three new tapes that we need to listen to. All right, we've been stocking up on the tapes right now. You see how we're doing things. Before we go too far, I do still see the car. Still parked up. All right. So with those three tapes, get back to the radio station. Yo. Oh. What is happening? Dude, stop, man. Stop. Just stop. It's like, is that the car? I do not recall it making these sounds. Is it? Maybe something on the roof. Yo, yo, my car's just in drift mode. My engine's been cut. Yo, just go, just go. Hey, hey, let's go, let's go. Yo, yo, yo. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. What the freak, stop. I didn't see anything, I didn't see anything. Oh my God, you need to drive, man. Just put your foot down. Drive right now, fella. I didn't see anything that was coming for me. And I'm actually glad about that. Oh my gosh. This game is definitely getting scary. I am feeling the fear now. It's a really odd sense of, like, dread. Always lurking close by, it feels like. Swing by. Let's get it, man. Uh, is my guy still in there? Bro, the freak you doing? Let's look at his mannerism. So he's, he's reaching for something, it looks like. Therefore, let me just look back here. Maybe behind one of these monitors, there's something we can take. What's this? There's something odd about this monitor. Break it. Hey, let's go. Let the anger out. Oh, using our fist. I knew there'd be so Oh, God. Dude, don't kill me. I'm. I don't want to move. I don't want to move. I'm moving. Hey, the freak, you savage. You slammed the door on me. Let's go. Let's go. What the freak? What was that all about, huh? Why are you playing pranks on me like this? And just like that, the man is gone. He just dissipates like into the darkness. We look around and we see nothing more. All right. What the freak is happening? Guys, brace yourself for something bizarre to happen. So tape recorder. Let's go. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, look around, look around, look around. We're good. We're good. It's just us today. 
It's just us. Close that door. Skip this. Okay. Come on, get the creepy noise done. Masaki no horror na hanashi. Great, let's go. Oh god, this is terrifying. Hi, hajimari mashita. Back at it again. Horror na hanashi. The white vans, dude, with the white scary ghosts. Tegami wo yonde ikimashou. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Radio de mu Toko san. Toko again. Mata mata kono kata desu ne. Yeah, this person is quite the avid writer. Kono Toko san ga okete kere hanashi wa yure no. Always like. They go bad in the middle, but then they have a, a good ending, I suppose. Oh, always fine now. Let's go. Please be a friendly one. This a high school student. Okay. She was hospitalized, so she went to the hospital every single day. Keep in contact with them. We're probably going to have a listening session here, guys. It was a polyclinic with many doctors and nurses, and the people were always going in and out of it. Okay. So, what does that have to do with this? Okay, I see. Always new staff members, that sort of thing. Okay. So it's really a nurse in so many rooms. Okay. So that's strange. Why would that be? It's not like the hospital has a family, a nurse in the corridor. Don't tell me she didn't even exist. I'm waiting for that almost. I feel like they're going to say like, it exists. She assumed that they'd seen a family. They're going to say, what are you talking about, right? I'm waiting for it. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Is it my misunderstanding? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. So, how's this going to become heartwarming? Maybe that nurse saved their life somehow? As they would. For sure, I feel you. Check back here real quick. I think the aged woman said the bed spoke about them. Because the hospital is superstitious about, like, crap going down. Okay, a nice lady. That's what we gather from that, just a nice lady. Maybe she was the nurse or something? It's late time. I stayed for too long in the visitation time. It was left short. Maybe speak to the lady? Did that door just close or am I freaking out? I just saw before it came out. Wait. Am I seeing things? Why she came out the lady next to her family? Yo. I don't know why I feel really uncomfortable. I don't know why I feel really uncomfortable. Okay. The same ghostly nurse. About the lady. What? Dude, it's freaky. Very terrifying to experience. They didn't hear you. Did the lady even exist? I'm starting to question now. Okay, they both walk off. Maybe she passes then. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. It's a long-ass story though, dude. Holy crap. Okay. Is she? Okay, 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 okay. Weird. So what happened? B2 was pressed. Yeah. Too weird for coincidence, right? Oh, okay. All right. Boys, break it up again. Three out of seven. I think that nurse was trying to take that lady to the afterlife. You might have just saved her. Okay, so I'm going to come back here again. There must be some reason this ladder's here, right? Like, why else would it be here? I was thinking maybe we could climb up to find the seventh tape. It might be lost somewhere within here. We also refuse to use this computer no matter what. So perhaps we do have to listen to six out of seven tapes before we can even proceed ahead and go any further. I'm not sure. Tape four, let's go. Woo, let's go. Story time. Chill as out. Story edition. That's what this game is, basically. I'll check back here real quick whilst we got the intro playing. Masaki's horror, Masaki horror story again. Why is there no other writers? She has a fixation Hi. with creating bizarre and crazy things. I will read a horror letter as always. I'm taking a sip of this one, man. Same person. This person's becoming quite famous with her riddles and stories, huh? I quite like her. 
Let's see. You notice how she always runs into people as well? She's always the one. She knows every single person. Did that light just... Bro, am I seeing things? I don't know. Okay. Looking after her brother. What's that sound? So, wait, yeah, what was that sound? I heard like a thump or something? Uh, okay, yeah, it's Toko. Still doing the same stories. Um, we just look back here a second. Alright, so the, the writing was different. So he thought maybe it was like a, a person writing for like a ghost writer or something? I guess. Brother's doctor. Wait. Okay, is something happening? Wait, what's happening? Two, excuse me? What's happening? Is something weird happening? Like, come on, let's use them weird places. So, T.O. Alright, I kind of want to write these down. I will continue. I'm going to get my phone out, though. T.O. Alright, I want to write these down. Hold on, we'll keep listening. Rude, rude. Smiling as always. Can my phone seriously stop right now? I need to write these. Okay. I hear you guys. I'm literally trying to write this on my phone. Okay, let's go. We're going. Three months since I talked with the doctor. Oh, cold. She always speaks about being able to feel coldness and things like that. Or at least in a first story it was. Little boy. Who was this little boy? Nah, 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 nah. Wrong person. Ain't your mom. Oh, okay. The boy's mother. Okay, well, that's a that's a good end to that. At least the kid wasn't lost. Entirely okay. Okay. So I accept it. Whoa, this is flicking quick. Slice of cake, cup of tea, so the family was good. Very nice family. So by finding that kid's parent, it was the best thing we did. No wonder that kid wanted to find his mom. Two times passed by in the blink of an eye. That's what happens when you lose track of time in good company. Is the time okay? I was asking. What does that mean? Ah, visit time. Right, I see, I see. Okay. Was it? Fine flies, man. When you least look at the clock, that's when time goes quickest. Take 30 minutes to get from here to hospital. So, 30 minutes left, I suppose? Left the house immediately. I guess they wanted to get to the hospital real quick. Got to say a proper goodbye. You're in a hurry, man. You can't, you know, shoot yourself in the foot over that. Sometimes it happens. Ah, most interesting. That is a strange one. So what did you do? What happened? I arrived at brother stood in the front of the door. Okay. Hmm. What are you doing when I was suffering? Wait, what? What do you mean? What the heck? Who's the boy? Uh oh. Did the brother pass? Wait. Tio. Bro, why is it called? I just called someone. I just called someone. I'm trying to type. Can I seriously type, please? Two men? Okay. T-O-M-I-M. That's what we got so far. What is this for? And will it give us a code or something? Ew. Pause on that statement. Uh, hang on a second. No one outside. I didn't get to focus much on that story, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Heard the creepy stuff, but... What? You better have clapped your hands right there, sir. Huh. Now, let me try something one second. Going back here, first of all, there's no blood there. So there might not be a tape. I'm starting to think maybe as we go through these different letters or the different, I guess, tapes, maybe we're gonna get a code, like a password for the computer. All right, tape number five. Uh, how much more we can do? Maybe we should try the UV light around here at some point. Hold up. Hey. Masaki no horror na hanashi. Yo, yo. Hey. What the freak? Ah! Nah. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. 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 Nah, nah,
。OK。今回も同じにラジオネーム。Mom, stop! I see you go away. She got like no jaw. What the freak? Ew! Oh yo, I'm out. I am not messing with that. 今回書いてませんね。Didn't write a story this time. Oh my god. Okay. Don't ignore it. 両親なんて最初からいなかった。そう思っている。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。私は何をしているのか。気にしていると話が止まってしまうので、できる限り気にせず読むようにしますね。Matt, can you stop dumping your head? No wonder your face has got some like dried blood down your mouth. What the heck? What do you expect is gonna happen, man? Come on. いや、いなくなっていた。気づいた時には弟と二人だった。Okay. 許せなかった。何もかも。S. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you for being Tomino's. Tomino's? Domino's pizza? What? Why? And hey, just well. Holy crap! So much. Let's go. Let's go. We're running this down. We're hacking this game. We're gonna, you know, break the game. Code files. I don't know. Dude, I'm not being funny. I'm barely reading these. And E. So the E. Let's see what's he got. What's he got? This dude's getting more out of the story from me. I'll tell you that, guys. He said, "Capsule letters like this everywhere, so they're breaking things up." He's trying his best. Trying his best, ma'am. Stop doing that. Ah, the world. Okay. Okay. Sorry, it's resonating with the reader's heart. Okay. She's picking up with the knocking right there. Mother is always next to me. Is this our story? It sounds like maybe he's talking about us. I don't know. I'm getting a bit confused here. Maybe not. Look after him when he's scared. Okay. I'll do what I couldn't when my brother. What are you talking about? Forget all. Double L right there. Okay, L L. Don't die around me. I don't know, man. I won't put it that way. So the lady outside. What's written at the bottom? Dab on them. Do I have to write that down? She's still knocking good. Do I have to write? I, I forgot what she said right there. Just letter? I mean, yeah. I'm confused. Is it talking about her stories? Is it taking people out? The way she writes. I'll find it. Oh, if I find it, I will read it next time. Okay. All right. Good. Five out of seven, lady. Stop thumping your brain off of that thing. What the freak? What's your problem, man? I'm gonna go outside and tell you to get out of these premises, okay? I'm security guard. That's it. I'm done with this. Hey, lady, get. What the freak? If she's inside, I'm gonna throw this flashlight at her face. I will. Oh god, I'm actually nervous. I'm actually nervous. Ooh. All right, it's just us. I'm closing that. Like, it's a weird feeling with this game, guys. It really is. So, from what I've got so far, it says Tomino's Hell. That's maybe a code of some kind. I don't know if we'd be able to use that or put it in any way. I think it might be referring to us. Tape six out of seven. Let's go. This one's gonna get messy. Are you ready for a bad time, guys? Because it's about to get bad. All right. Sans a quote that he said. Yeah, he's got some in here. It's like his host. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. I'm checking around just to make sure. I don't want to. Masaki, okay. What will we understand? Ooh, this is the one here. Nice. No, it's because it was sandwiched between the documents. Aha. Read this for today. Let's do it. Have a good read. Listen through everything. I'm curious. Yeah, is it going to get even more weird this time? Like cryptic or something like that? Oh, it's from Toko. Loves writing stories. I'm a very big fan of that. 
タイトルのようなものもあるようですね。では早速タイトルから読んでいきましょう。Let's go. You know, that's what we always go for when it comes to a hint. Oh man, it's gonna be on his desk, isn't it? Okay, yeah, there it is. We go. I'm straight up picking this thing up. Okay, no lady. So, we may as well read it. It's a sticky note on the paper. Read this out loud and you'll know why your brother died. What? Do we really want to read it out loud? Um, I don't think we should. The darkness of Panako. No brother burns heart, the older sister exhales a blue breath. Panako can't do anything. Panako leaving alone. Not a ray of light can be seen in the darkness. Is it a monster that I see over there? Even if I invite him, he doesn't move. Ugly side casts off the vegetation. What vestige? There is no island or color ahead. One bone of a wanderer. We couldn't keep up with the white rabbit. Who is changing? Is it me? Or is it someone else? Even if I put the monster beside you, reflection in the mirror. Only shows darkness. I fall and I fall, and yet I haven't fallen. Nothing at my destination. Toko. What I get from that, guys? Uh oh. Hello. Oh, rivers! I can't open the door. What the freak? What's happening? So this place is filling up with like blood. What? I don't know what that riddle meant. Hey, not too high. You'll drown the computer, man. I can't open the door. Oh my gosh! Yo, I don't. I want to get back. Something's bubbling down there. Hey, is that my brother? Um, it's the lady that was stomping her face outside. I think. But why? Can I stop this? Like, I can't hack the computer. I don't know what to do here. She's just standing there without a jaw. Wait, why do we fade out? Cutscene. What happens? What is she gonna? Okay, you dolphin. What the heck? Communicate with the dolphins. There was some. She punched my face with the water with words, and I'm drowning in some red abyss in this radio station. How? How does that even happen, man? Can I fight back? Can I try and like break out of this or not?、Nah? I don't think so. Whatever that lady said, it seemed to curse us, and my nose is so itchy, and it will not stop. Yeah. That sounds like life is going from us right now, guys. Oh! <sighs> Haruo died. Ending two. What? I don't even know what I could have done to change that up. I have no idea. Dang. So Haruo, he meant the end. Who was that note we got? Something about Tomino's Hal. Who is Tomino? How could we try and find more about that? Was there maybe a neighbor with the same name? I heard that the following morning he went looking for the cause of his brother's death. Why him? We were engaged. He can't die so easily, leaving me behind. I have to find out why he died. Wait, so who was that spoken from the perspective of? His like fiance, I suppose. What? What a kind of tragic story in the end. We didn't find out what happened to our brother. And we also ended up meeting the same fate. Maybe that was what happened to our brother too. My guess is that what we probably could have done is search for a note or the seventh different tape, and then if we would have put that in the tape recorder, perhaps we would have got a bit more closure to the story and maybe a different ending as a result. Maybe she'd have responded differently if we listened to every single letter. Wait, is that a person up top? Actually, looks like a human. Wait, what? Um. Well, that's kind of messed up. What the heck? Hey, sir, are you okay? I mean, well, obviously not. Bicycle lock key. What the freak? That's messed up. Yo. Um. Okay. His body is gone once I come in here. What's this all about? I didn't see it. Was that supposed to happen? Or maybe after you get six out of seven, you can come back here. Trash tongs. Maybe then we go back to the trash site where the car was parked up. There was a second one.、Uh, maybe we can reach through the door or something. Okay, so maybe we can reach through here or something. I I don't know.、Um, oh, are you serious? We need to break the padlock. I don't even know what these are for, man. Hmm. Mesh at the back is all connected. 
Uh, I don't know how we get to it. We can see, though, that's what we need. There's some kind of key on top right there. Oh, hold on, hold up. Here we go. That gave us a key, but what? what is it? Padlock key. Okay, now we can enter this. All right, let's go. Uh, tape deck. I can use this to reverse things? Okay, well, I don't know what the last tape is. Or what are you talking about? Oh, my gosh. I missed it. I missed it. I was thinking maybe we come back to the site where the person was. We got the tongs here. Is there another item? Reverse tape. Wow, man, I could have literally waited. <laughs> so instead, I literally just did a, a whole trip there and back for no reason. <sighs> Guys, I'll see you there. Tape goes in. I can use this to reverse tapes. Yeah, good. Well, you've got a tape right here, fella. What? Wait, why don't you use it? I don't understand. Oh, okay, so now it's called fix tape. Now we drive back again, and we have to put it in the actual tape in the radio station. I'm trying to think if there's anything to do with the car. That's one of the things that's kind of looming, not really sure what this car was doing. It started with them seeing us take the key at the house, which is up on the mountainside. Then they pretty much crashed, and that's basically it when it comes to them. I guess we also saw them at the vending machine area. Wonder why their car would break down at that point there. And then we saw someone take a leap off of the uh, radio station too. I don't know if that's maybe the driver is trying to say something like that. It's hard to interpret. What? What? It's in here now. It moved into the radio room. What the freak, man? Get in there. Let's go. Play fixed tape. Yeah. The darkness of Tanako. No brother burns hot and the older sister carries blue breath. Can't do anything. Tanako leaving alone. Not a ray of light can be seen. Oh. We aren't reading this aloud. Therefore, the cursed poem is not getting us. We read it aloud last time. Oh. So this is Tanako reading it out loud. This is why he got killed. That's the... Okay, I saw that door close. Thanks, man. I mean, thanks. I was trying to see myself in. We don't read that note ourselves. It, that's really interesting, actually. So, it comes down to a cursed situation. And this is must This must have been exactly where it went down, guys. So, let me see what happens after. Maybe we'll hear the being summoned in. This tape was reversed. They tried to destroy... What the... What, what is that? Hey! What the heck? What's he doing? Well, that didn't sound good, did it? Masaki must have died because you read this. I don't know what power that poem has, but I need to get it examined. I'll take that paper to the police tomorrow. It's too late and I should go home for the time being today. So we learn what happened. Do we want to take the paper or we just, we're leaving it where we find it. So for now, we get out of this place, we're going home. I'm weary, every corner I take, I'm worried, guys. Okay, it looks good. Let's go home, let's, let's do it. Nothing more to do, go home. Let's go. So that was it. That was seven out of seven tapes. Is this like maybe the good ending or something? Where we survive, we learn the tale of what happened, and we know the appropriate actions from here on? It might be. Masaki Anwar's brother, Haru, brought a tape to me. This might be through the perspective of the police guy. He said, if you listen to this, you will understand the reason for Masaki's death. I decided to listen to the tape. However, no matter how much I played it, nothing came out and nothing was recorded on the tape. Haru panicked. He seemed to be mumbling to himself. It can't be. Suddenly, he handed me a piece of paper. Masaki died because you read this paper aloud. There was a recording on the tape to back it up. After accepting the paper, Haruro whisked away. He had a severe look in his eyes, but is he trying to make fun of us, the police? There is no way that a single poem written on a paper like that can kill a person. If such a thing were to really happen, it would be a terrible thing. As I was staring at the paper, a younger colleague came over to me. Senpai, what are you looking at? No, I heard that if you read the poem out aloud, you will die. What? Is it superstitious or something? Do you really believe that? The junior laughs. Why don't you try reading it, senior? I was told that, but I couldn't bring myself to read it. Of course I didn't believe him, but... Are, are you scared, senior? Then I'll read it for you! Laughing, my colleague picked up a piece of paper. My colleague read the whole thing at once. Nothing happened during that time. I didn't expect anything to happen, but I was a little relieved. Nothing happened. Maybe it was just a prank. I was about to say it or not. He suddenly screamed and collapsed. He never came back. And when I noticed, the paper was gone too. What was that poem about? That's your ending number one then. That must be the ending where our character knows what happened and then the police learn the fate, but at the cost of one of the junior investigators actually reading the poem because he didn't believe it and then suffering the consequences as a result. That was a cool story. So this writer, Toko, were inventing these things. It must have been that lady who we saw who had the missing jaw. I wonder then if more people also read the same tale, like the person who was in the kind of outhouse area. He was also dead and there was like uh, an encapsulation of maybe his last moments. He was hidden into a tape location, maybe trying to help us. So 
Was that our brother then who we saw jump off of the radio tower and then leaving the rewinded note? I, I don't know. It's not really explained. It's loosely explained. The, the main story that this game was trying to tell us, though, is there and it was easily interpretable. We survived. We knew what happened to our brother. It was about a cursed letter that was written by someone who was a big, avid fan of these ghost stories. And they always seem to have that kind of nice ending. On this occasion, however, it did not. And it actually took the victims. Potentially, the six notes or letters that were written before by the same lady were to almost bait the people into continually reading her stories and thinking, oh, these things are harmless. They always end so well. But then they get you when they least expect it. But that's just my, that's what I'm getting from this. But all right, though, guys, this is where the game takes us back to the menu. That was the outro credits. That was the radio station in its entirety. I will say this. This was one of the more funner games by Chilizat with an interesting way of going about the story, especially with the driving mechanics. They do always try and put something new in each game they do. Driving felt a little bit strange at some points. The handling on that car was almost too incredible. And the reversing sound like that was kind of intense but everything did work. A couple of small mysteries still here and there with this thing. I'll let you guys interpret that down below in the comments and I will be reading to just see what you guys think the car meant, for example, and the other things that we were seeing. However, for this episode, this is what we're going to leave this here. This was the radio station getting two out of three different endings and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy and I will, of course, see you on the next one.